Hello students and welcome back to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. In this tutorial, we will dissect the flexors of the digits in the horse, including the superficial digital flexor muscle and the deep digital flexor muscle. And we will try also to learn the origin, insertion, innervation, and function of these muscles. So let's get started. So, uh, as mentioned, we cut the uh, flexor carb radialis in the middle, as you can see here, and we will reflect it up and down like this. We cut also the flexor carb ulnaris in the middle, and we also going to move it to the side here. Now we are looking here for the flexors of the digits. We mean the superficial digital flexor muscle and the deep digital flexor muscle. Now the first muscle here, which we can find here is the superficial digital flexor muscle. The superficial digital flexor muscle, if we go up here, you will find that it starts or originates from the, the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Let me show you again. This is the medial surface of the humerus, exactly from this point here. Let me just show you exactly from this point here, the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So the superficial digital flexor muscle moves down uh, this level here, the carval joint level, you will find the tendon of the SDF moving inside the carval canal, which is located between the palmar surface of the carpus here and the accessory carval bone, which we can see there. And it moves down and finally inserts to the uh, tubercles of the proximal and middle phalanx. So, P1 and P2. Again, so this is the SDF or superficial digital flexor muscle. Uh, um, it's innervated by the ulnar nerve and of course from the name, it's a flexor of the digit. The function of it is to flex the digits. So to the side here. Here we can see that the tendon of the SDF or the tendon of the superficial digital flexor muscle has a supporting ligament or supporting tendon here comes from the you know from the caudal surface of the radius and uh, moves and fuses with the tendon of the SDF as a supporting ligament as you can see here so if we move the superficial digital flexor muscle to the side here uh, all, all other muscles we can find here uh, belongs to the DDF or the deep digital flexor muscle. We have also to take uh, the tendon out of the carval canal. Uh, this is the tendon of the DDF. So it was covered actually with the tendon of the SDF. So I took the SDF out and the DDF. And now I would like to show you that the DDF or deep digital flexor muscle uh, has three heads. So if we hold it like this, you can see the three heads at once. You know, the first one here comes from the radius. The second one here comes from the humerus. And the last one is that one here, look, comes from the anna. Okay, let me just put the anna nerve to the side firstly. Okay. And now, so let's go for the first, uh, uh, for the first head. If you look exactly here, you will find that the first head, this one here, originate from the caudal surface of the radius. Caudal surface of the radius. So this is the radial head of the DDF. Yeah, this is here, the radial head of the DDF. Now the other one, if you look exactly, it comes directly from the anna. So this is the anna here. This is the anna here. So it comes, as you can see here, from the medial surface, medial surface of the olecranon, exactly from this area here of the olecranon. And this is the ulnar head, the ulnar head. And the rest is the humeral head, the humeral head. So this is all the humeral head. Let me just take it in my hand like this. So this is the humeral head, the humeral head uh, originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So the medial epicondyle of the humerus here. And as you can see here, all three heads comes together, comes together to form the tendon of the DDF, the tendon of the DDF. If you move down, if we move down a little bit here, we can see, I hope it's in the picture, 
we can see another supporting uh, ligament or supporting uh, tendon comes from yeah this one here i'm talking about this one here comes from the caudal surface of the carpal bones here and uh, fuses with the tendon of the ddf as a supporting ligament supporting ligament and finally the ddf inserts to the flexor let me just take this one here to the flexor surface of the coffin bone or in this case is b3 or the distal phalanx so to the flexor service this is the flexor service the insertion of the ddf of course the function as the name uh, suggests you know the function is flexion of the digit i will show you a little bit later uh, or i can move the for like this i hope is it here in the picture so now in this area look i'm contracting now the ddf the same for the sdf huh? the sdf as we mentioned uh, inserts to the uh, b1 and b2 while the ddf inserts to b3 coffin palm flexor service okay it's a flexor of the digit as you can see there now of course, the, the DDF or the deep digital flexor muscle is innervated by both actually ulna nerve, ulna nerve, this is the ulna nerve, look, this is the ulna nerve, ulna nerve and the median nerve, which we can see more deeper, or this is the median nerve, look, this is the median nerve. So both nerves innervate the DDF. Now I would like here to show you something very important. Just remember that this is the tendon of the SDF and this is the tendon of the DDF. The tendon of the SDF moves superficially. Yeah, SDF superficial digital flexor muscle move superficially while the deep is deeper. Okay, but finally here, finally here, we have to remember that the DDF should move all the way to the distal phalanx while the SDF tendon inserts to b1 and b2 and that's why that's why the tendon of the sdf here in this area uh, makes like uh, uh, will be somehow uh, separated and uh, form like a canal canal here to allow the tendon of the ddf to move inside now inside the tendon of the sdf look here and move finally to the distal phalanx and insert there insert there and that's this formation here of the sdf called the manica flexoria the manica flexoria now as we are in this area here i would like to show you something else so deeper on directly on the balmar surface of the metacarpal bone number uh, three we can find this muscle here this muscle it's uh, a tendinous uh, muscle so it's just a tendon and this is in this case the interosseous muscle this is the interosseous muscle the interosseous muscle originates from uh, the caudal service I, I mean from the caudoproximal service of the metacarpal bones there and partially also from the caudal service of the carpal bones and moves down moves down all the way and at the end it it's divided into two branches or tendons both of them or each one inserts to the proximal sesamoid bone you know that one to that sesamoid bone and this one to the uh, to the to to this here proximal sesamoid bones of course we have to remember that at the level at the level of uh, the uh, metacarbophalangeal joint here, this level, we have these two sesamoid bones called the proximal sesamoid bones, while here we have the distal sesamoid bone, or in the horse, we can name it as navicular bone. Okay, so the interosseous muscle, again, this is the interosseous muscle, will be divided here at this level, here and inserts both into the proximal sesamoid bones and from the sesamoid bones finally to the b 
One, we have uh, different uh, ligaments, which we are going to dissect later to fix the sesamoid bones finally to the uh, first or proximal uh, phalanx, okay? Um, okay, that's everything we can see here. Now, uh, let me just tell you too that uh, the, the interosseous muscle at the level of the metacarpo phalangeal joint gives like a supporting ligament or a dorsal supporting ligament from this side and one from the other side they are they will be fused with the tendon of the common digital extensor muscle as you can see here and from each side which finally will be inserted to the extensor process of the distal phalanx this one here this is the extensor process of the coffin bone in this case or the distal phalanx okay this is the supporting tendon or ligaments uh, sub supporting ligam uh, ligaments from the um, <coughs> from the interosseous muscle in this view again let me just tell you that uh, uh, here we can find the tendon of the common digital extensor muscle. Here we have the tendon of the lateral digital extensor muscle. And um, that's everything for today. Um, next, we are planning actually to, uh, to talk about the blood supply and the nerves of the distal limb of the horse. Here, just for your information, the nerve which we can find at this level here called the me we have two one called the medial and the lateral palmar nerve so this nerve here and there this nerve here look at this area so here we have the medial on the other side we have the lateral palmar nerves and um, <clears throat> yeah so see you in the next video bye bye for now